Aquarius. How are you? Welcome to another love reading of yours. This is for my Aquarius in love. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Time is fluid, guys. As you know, you could have dealt with this energy or will be dealing with in the near future. Please keep in mind some of the energies of the cards here can be clipped. So feel free to switch the energies and vice versa. And of course, if you guys need a personal reading, all that lovely information is going to be down below. Something's stagnant. Something's not moving forward. And the problem here is that... Okay, so bottom of the deck, we have the Knight of Cups here, alright? So I feel either you are wanting to follow your heart. There could be a situation where you're not manifesting something anymore or you could be dealing with a trickster, alright? You could be dealing with someone who doesn't really have the best intentions. Although I'm not getting so much of uh, someone who has bad intentions towards you. But it's almost like, you know what, you're not wanting to manifest anything anymore because you are doubting yourself, okay? And with the Knight of Cups here, I feel that you're wanting to follow your heart. This could be a love offer that's coming in or you're wanting to express your feelings towards someone, okay? However, I see that something is stuck and stagnant here, all right? You could be uh, very focused on yourself, your career, your work, okay? And um, there is someone here who wants something stable, something committed, okay? With the Empress here, I feel that the reason of the reading, I feel that there's someone who realizes their self-worth and value, okay? So it could be that things have come to a standstill right now, all right? There's someone here who's lazy and not wanting to put in the effort or they're just fearing change. Um, this person could anyways be very slow moving towards you and now they've completely come to a halt, okay? They've completely stopped moving towards you. They're not chasing or pursuing you anymore. Keep in mind, you can flip the energies, okay? So take how it resonates. And your biggest challenge is that um, you're not taking action. Again, I'm getting a lot of people, a lot of zodiac signs who are pulling back their energies. And all that is because they realize their worth. They realize their self-worth, okay? They realize their value. They realize that they deserve more, okay? And that they're the shit, okay? No one can make them feel good and no one decides how... They treat you, okay, because you treat yourself the best and that's how you teach them how to treat you is what I'm getting. So I feel there's some things are on a hold right now because you're following your heart. Again, with the King of Cups, a Knight of Cups out here. I'm not getting that this is someone who's manifesting you. I'm getting you not wanting to manifest this anymore. Maybe you were really literally putting in all your effort, energy and action into this person. But now you've withdrawn your energies, okay. You are being selfish, could be someone who's playing head games with you. But again, with the Queen of Wands in reverse and getting someone, there's a lack of action here, okay? There's a period of inaction here. Everything's come to a halt. If you took action, things would move forward, but you've completely taken a step back. You're very focused on your work, okay? Because you realize your self-worth, you realize your value, you realize that you're independent on your own, okay? You have a lot of abundance in you. You're telling yourself, I am enough, okay? And I don't need anyone to make me complete, to make me feel like... I am complete, all right? You are enough for yourself and that's what you've realized. I feel in the past also you thought this was a risky business or you had trust issues with this person, okay? Because this person could have done things to you which um, weren't really the best and uh, you could have gone through hell and back with this person but you anyways thought this was a risky business, okay? It was a lack of faith in this connection. You took more leaps of doubt than leaps of faith. And uh, I think in the near future, there's someone gonna be who's going to be more in their head rather than in overthinking and analyzing a lot, okay? If you have separated from someone, I see someone here who want, who's wanting to return back, okay? They're wanting to come out of the cold, okay? However, they know that there's a lot of drama involved with you. You know what I'm getting? You both want to get to each other. We have the Hermit in reverse and the Five of Pentacles in reverse, okay? So there's one person now who's feeling left out. You know what? The only difference between these cards I get is that this is a situation where there's, again, this is a very codependent relationship, okay? I need you. I want you. I can't do without you, all right? You are my everything. You make me complete. I need your approval, all right? That's this kind of energy. Very codependent energy, okay? So you could be dealing with someone who's very codependent on you, okay? However... They're very conflicted in their head with the five of wands, okay? Whenever this person comes in, probably this person brings a lot of drama in your life and you're probably done with this, okay? Or it's almost like you have to fight for a position 
okay you have to every single time you're into a conflict with this person you need to know where you stand with this person okay with the five of wands yeah, there's always a fight always bickering nagging you know and a lot of conflicts between you guys okay you guys are just never on the same page all right and here with the hermit in reverse here in where environment this could be you this could be them but there's someone here again who wants to come back from the past okay this person has you guys went your separate ways and one person wants to come back they're not sure, but they're conflicting in their head. They want to come back because they're very codependent on you. They want you. They can't do without you. And one person is probably either too isolated, okay? Because the hermit in reverse can also be someone who's over isolated, okay? The hermit is an energy. When you get into the hermit, when you're hermiting, right? There has to be a time of how much time you need to be in isolation with, okay? You need to realize that you need to snap out of that hermit energy, okay? If you stay in that energy for a very long time, that's when it gets into the reverse and then that's too much of isolation then you get into overthinking and over over analyzing thing okay so that's what i think is happening here that's why things are not moving forward okay so one person wants to return back but the other person i think they're too isolated okay now they're so isolated that now they're just focused on themselves and their work completely withdrawn their energies not taking action and that's the reason why the knight of pentacles in reverse everything's at a standstill here okay there is someone here who has trust issues, okay? Because with the fool in reverse in the past and the eight of swords in the near future, I feel there's someone who's coming in their own way only because they have trust issues, only because of trust issues, all right? So maybe this person went through something with you or you are in their past relationships or in the relationships that they have with other people, okay? But they haven't healed and that's why they feel very defensive towards you. But I'm getting the trust issue is a big problem here. There is a brand new beginning here, all right? But um, this is definitely someone who's overanalyzing and overthinking the situation, okay? Again, that can be the hermit in reverse, okay? Someone who's um, almost like, again, I'm getting too isolated, all right? I'm just going to pick up what I feel intuitively. But with the, the good part is with the king of swords here, I think you're going to get clarity. I think and that's the clarity that's coming in and I think this is going to be the knight of cups. This person probably is coming in with some facts, okay? They want clear-cut communication. They want truthful communication. This person means business, okay? And probably this person is now coming in. After returning back from the cold, they're coming in and uh, they want to make you a love offer, okay? They want to come in and express their emotions and they want to be vulnerable towards you. So you will get communication, okay? You're going to get clarity. There is going to be clearing the air. But... Um, but I definitely feel that there's someone here who's too isolated themselves. Either this person is too isolated or they're too distracted with their external situations, with their external factors that they're not being able to go within to find the answers of what they need, okay? You go into the hermit energy to find out what, where, when, how, why, okay? A lot of thinking, a lot of thinking and trying to, a lot of soul searching, self-introspection, okay? But when it's in the reverse, yes, yeah, sometimes it does mean that someone from your past who's ghosted you is coming back. But it also means that someone's too isolated, okay? Because I don't see two people wanting to come together here. I feel one person's coming in, but intuitively, I feel that there's one person here who's too isolated because they're so isolated, right? Now they're very focused on their work and they're complete and they're just doing nothing. There is a period of inaction here and that's why this is putting the entire, this is this person who's creating their own nonsense, okay? They're creating their own self-inflicted prison. The one who's isolating themselves, okay? It's been like forever, I think, that this person is in their head and they've just shut down themselves so that's what i'm getting for you but i think the basic thing is that um i'd probably like to tag this creating your own um you know creating your own mess or coming in your own way you need to get out of your way if this is you or then this is a cross watcher someone's coming in their own way why over analyzing overthinking all right that's what i'm getting things probably don't look as bad okay it could be that maybe this person was moving too slowly towards you and they weren't really expressing their feelings and you were like you know what <laughs> are you like coming or not are you doing this or not look we have the queen of wands here and we have the knight here all right the queen and the knight there is an energetic difference all right so i feel the queen and the knight the, the knight of pentacles and the queen of wands they're class part they're like different energies okay the queen is now let's do this okay like a go-getter okay she's got that go for it vibe the knight of pentacles is like whoa, 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 whoa i need to take my time anyways they're moving at you know like they're moving at a slow pace they're anyways on a turtle and here you are you're like 
I mean, super fast, okay? You're like, I feel it and I want to do it now. And they're like, I need a detailed plan. I need to watch before I come towards you, okay? So probably this person is too slow for you and you're like too passionate for them. So I think it's the speed that is actually ruining things out here. But otherwise, there's a lot of growth here. I think there's a lot of growth and abundance here. But it's the speed. One person wants things now and the other person's like, wait, you know? And probably the entire thing is also on a hold because you probably all of a sudden would have just pulled back your energies, okay? And this person like, what the hell just happened? Yeah? That's what I'm getting for you, Aquarius. I hope this reading resonates with you. Leave your comments below. Like, share, subscribe. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.